don't end the video here. Okay, I'm not going to. Why not? Because I think you'll want what happens next in the video. Okay. Rather than the beginning of one. Fair enough. might be wrong there. I'll take your word. I'll also probably have forgotten this when I'm cutting up the videos, but... Ah, oh, we're outside again. And it looks awesome as you... They do the sky really well. And I know it's just a texture, but it's a really cool texture each time. One... one square mystery open. Nice. I should mention that... We are on top of a dam. Yes, we are. It looks fucking awesome. We are going to be, um... Going all around down the side of the dam on the outside. That's so cool. And while we are doing that... The memory items that we pick up are going to be one of those sets that are all sort of linked to each other. So are we not done? Are we done with the bells? No, we're no. not done with the bells. Okay, cool. It just normally those. That's are not by... what I meant by those sets. I uh, mean more like the wedding ones from the hotel. Uh, okay. Wow. That never resolved. Now I'm concerned. What kind of place is this? Are you kidding me or what? You don't know? That thing's called a dam. We knew that. The dam? It's so humongous. That's what she said. Oh, wow. That's also what she said. <laughs> That's also what she yep. said. It's one of the larger structures built by man. God damn it, why the make it so easy? Oddly, she also said that. Turbines? We know, we heard her. <laughs> He's gonna decide that he doesn't need silver hair to check and we're never gonna see her again. No. Oh. Also, why is she completely solid in cutscenes? I don't know. To maybe make us think that it is appropriate for a live guy and a ghost to totally get it on. They're not. I knows more than she left you on. And so we're going to completely ignore her because there's no way we're going to backtrack. Cool. Thanks for that. I, I'm going to ask the thread, anyone in the thread, have you ever been attracted to someone or n uh, like not attracted to someone based on the size of their ears I'm not like saying like if they had like really horrible looking diseased ears like that's fine but like the size of someone's ears is that even a thing do you notice the size of people's ears what he only if they're really truly exceptional yeah and like I don't know kinda small for your age I don't even really notice people's ears growing more than the rest of them unless people are old because old people have massive ears and noses but you know they don't shrink yeah but like yeah i don't know it just seems like a weird thing to notice fuck you birds not dealing with this <laughs> although they are just crows yeah, later, guys. <laughs> to be honest, they don't seem that intent on fighting either until they do. That's what birds are always like. It's yeah. annoyingly random how often they attack. Yeah. Silver head girl, silver head girl. Look at silver head girl. She's behind a cage. That particular thing where they've got their hands together was in all the trailers. What are you saying? I 
can't hear you. Not with any dialogues, just silently them with their hands together like this. What was the first thing that did that whole, like, touching hands with glass in between? I don't remember. Like, is that a reference to something, or is that, that just that... something that will always be interpreted that way? That whole thing, I mean, I guess it's been done before, but that whole thing where they put their hands together and then the lift went... It won't open. Yeah. That, that was kind we of... Have to climb down. That, that was a good thing. You it was. You be serious. Don't tell me you're thinking of taking the ladders down. But she's in trouble, and she's waiting for me down there. Quiet already. Who am I kidding? Once you've made up your mind about something, there's no swaying you. There's literally been no indication of that. The ghost girl. The other ghost girl. In any case, oh, yeah, I okay, fair enough. really flimsy, so be extra careful, will you? Yeah, We've already I will. had multiple You'll tutorials about that. You'll of me, I swear. Hmm. <laughs> But yeah, like, someone in the thread, tell me where you've seen that whole, like, putting hands together through glass or whatever. I'm really, really upset to say that the only time that I can think of off the top of my head, even though I know it's really an established thing, is a Blink-182 video. It's these two that we have uh, for most of the memory items here. I see. Well, what? I look forward to it. Why not? I don't know, but something about how now that we can understand each other, we uh, have got to be together as family. These guys are all crows. You idiot. No. There's a lot more on your mind that they you're not people. saying. Oh. Now that they understand each how other. How do I even know what you're thinking? Because it's like I said. This is foreshadowing. No, Either way, I'm going. But wait! It's one guy. No. Don't tell me you want to come with Not me. foreshadowing to these, foreshadowing to the plot. Okay. I do. I'll be honest with you. You're stupid and a bother. Not like but today I can tell you really The serious. plot of what's going on with them, the thing about Is one of them crow? The thing about understanding each other is foreshadowing to the plot. No one oh, of them is not crow. All that telekinesis stuff? Yes. Is this also somehow linked into the fact that you can see dead people? Vaguely. Okay. I say am, and I will keep up. Hello! Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> A splendid surprise. So, is the chicken ever explained? That says everything. Awesome. The, if the chicken is the game's final boss, I will be so Bam. happy. <laughs> Aww. All this time I was trying to build my empire. <laughs> also, Stevie, I am your father. <laughs> that would my be hair so also goes down to better than what actually happens. Oh, oh dear. My hair also goes counterclockwise. Your ears are small because you are part chicken. Booker! <laughs> so he takes off the chicken mask and there is an actual chicken. chicken head. Yes, <laughs> yep. But he is up. He is um, ashamed of the size of his head, so he wears a giant head over his head. Oh well, I guess we go back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a ranged weapon, but we're just gonna dump that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, am I starting to talk to myself? No! No, you're not! Wow. Oh, cool. Well, that's not actually much better than the longbow. It's 20 better. Oh, I thought it was in. <laughs> oh, we go! <don't. laughs> Hello again! Fuck again! It's such a wonderful no, day! Hello again, yet. Uh, Do you have a potion to not sell us? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, chicken man. Uh. 
Okay, Thread. And also, what he had. If this was a movie, who would play Stevie? Who would play Robo Kazooie? Who would play Crow? Who would play Sai? And who would play the chicken guy? Robo Kazooie could just have the same voice. I guess. Now I feel like they'd get a celebrity involved. It would be like Avril Lavigne as the voice of Sai. Uh, not Sai, um, as the voice I of Robo Kazooie. I think she'd be more suited to Sai than Robo Kazooie. Yeah, maybe. She was in that one animated movie. Over the Hedge, was it called? I think Over the Hedge is Over the right Over the one. Hedge is the name of the thing. I don't know if it's the yeah. right thing you're thinking about, because I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, but, um, no, Avril Lavigne was in one of those. It was one of those really average DreamWorks ones. With the face. With the face? The DreamWorks face. Oh, I see. Like, the thi the only thing about DreamWorks that I've really come to appreciate is they make average 3D movies. That smug grin that is a meme. Oh, I don't know memes. Um, but like, well, I don't know that meme. Um, <laughs> but like, I just... No, that they make the the really average three three D cartoon things, and they always have like quite big celebrities in completely inappropriate roles in an attempt to actually sell tickets. The cross is the right way. Okay, good. There is also a down here. Let's look down there. I bet there's a memory item. Or the secret origins of Chicken Guy. Are we gonna go all the way down and then not be able to get anywhere? Don't say nothing! Don't stare intently! I can see you're staring intently! Ugh. Thread can't see that, I have to announce it. You are avoiding my eyes! There is a muscle guy. Look at the muscle guy. There is nothing down here! This is some bullshit! <laughs> Just had to show that off. I bet you were so angry first time. The first time, I guessed that a cross was going to be the wrong way, and actually came back here to see what I'd missed. Oh, that is awful. That's why I remember this bit <laughs> so well. That is such bullshit. And yet, again, this game doesn't seem to have an intentional vendetta against the player. They just they thought just that was like... a good idea. Yeah, no, they were just like, well... It's it's silly to have an actual genuinely linear path on a thing like a dam, because there are obviously going to be other walkways. They just don't need to go anywhere, plot-wise. Oh god, we're going to go under the water. And there are birds. That bird didn't attack you so much as you ran at him face first. Oh look. Oh. He can walk through living birds! This was such a good idea the first time that they decided to bring it back. Actually, it seems like a really good method. Walking backwards through birds. Yeah. Yeah, this is the best mechanic. Although, you know what they never brought back? What have they never brought? Back? Really narrow paths that you can fall off of, like the roller coaster track. No, that that was a one-off. <laughs> what an irritating one-off! Well, there's a lot of one-offs in this game, and it's sort of a good thing that there's a lot of one-offs in this game because it, it's variety. I guess that's one of its few actual strong points as a game. Yeah. And also, there's a few things that you just don't want to come back, like the not a stealth section with crow <laughs> and the fucking teacups. What the fuck was that? It was the worst bit of game design I think I've ever seen. Because it wasn't even just annoying mechanics, it was you have to do this one very specific thing. And sometimes it won't even trigger. He has to be stood in exactly the right place and there's no real way to force him to be. No. Game design. Oh, we can't do that, Jane. We can't do what? Talk to Sai. Oh, what, because you're in combat? Mm -hmm. You're still in combat, fucking hell. Yeah, the birds can be all the way along here. 
can be. Yeah. But we've been running away, so they're not. Yeah. That's a bad work. bit of advice. It's what the game always wants you to do, but it doesn't work. Fair. Hey, ew. Like, shut up, alright? I'm trying to grow a neck beard. Oh. Oh, man. You're a ghost! Oh. That, that, I'm confused. So, do we go up or down? I'm gonna try up first, but I think it might be the right way. I'm glad that we know her preference for school uniform is not the one that she wound up with. Yes. I honestly don't have any idea why she's wearing a school uniform, apart from Japanese fetishism. I'm pretty sure they didn't need any other reason. Why are Japanese, like, schoolgirl outfits sailorish? It's a thing to do with the times. Um, I believe we're responsible, or America is responsible for it, possibly. Alright. No, so? it, is, it isn't America. It's, like, it's interaction with the Western world that is responsible for the sailor uniforms existing. In what way? being school uniforms. Like, I, I just wondered how that caught on. I, I don't know the precise details of it. Fair enough. I don't think it was unusual for those sorts of things to be school uniforms at some point in history. Okay, yeah. I was just wondering if it was like and a military sort of school thing that kind of caught on. In or... Japan and stayed or something. I okay. don't know. Fair enough. If someone in the thread knows more, I'm actually quite interested. Although I believe the further back you go in time, the more they actually look like military uniforms and not just a bit of trim of one. Yes. Also, in a vaguely related topic, if you're European or, in fact, anywhere other than American, tell us about your school uniforms. Even if you're American and went to one of those few... Schools. Yeah, fair enough. I forgot that some, of, some Americans wore school uniforms. What was your school uniform like, what do you have? It was fairly dull. It was... which one? Um, most recent. Like, so secondary. senior. Secondary, yeah. Uh, red... jump... a uh, maroon jumper. Fair. Grey trousers. Yeah. White shirt. Polo shirt, or... or shirt, like shirt. Shirt. Tie? Yes. What tie? This red with... I forget if it was white bands across. Fair enough. Not my, red maroon, just like the jumper. Mine, when I started at the school, was bright blue blazer, a grey um, jumper with a yellow like, and orange... Like, not navy blue, bright blue. No, no, yeah, like bright blue. Like, Pepsi logo blue. As There is a Pepsi cup in the room, and it's, it's kind of that. Um, was yeah, so that was the blazer. My I had a grey jumper with a yellow and orange trim. I want you guys to take note of the colours here. Um, uh, my tie was blue, red, and yellow striped, um, and it was grey trousers, black socks, black shoes. And then as I got older, we like graduated from light blue to black blazer, and. We got a tie that was black with a single, like, one of our school's, like, badges on it. Oh, look, it's another memory item in this thing, and it took up two slots. I told you there was at least one that took more than one. There you go. Come on. Hurry up or I'm leaving you behind. <sighs> Sorry. What are you scribbling there? It's a map. I wouldn't want us getting lost. You numbskull. I know this place like the back of my hand. I'd never lose my way here. But... I need it. What? You plan on not coming here again on your own? I could. After all, I take after you. Huh. Hmm. 
braver than I thought. Just give me a second to draw this. When I'm done, I'll let you borrow it. It'll be our secret. He doesn't need the map. He already said. I told you. Oh, I right. I don't need that. Papa's always saying better safe than sorry. Yeah, yeah. If you take after anybody, it's mom and dad. So, just forget about it. Let's go. Don't fall behind. <clears throat> what time are we at? Ah, we can carry on. This would be a terrible place to stop. Yeah. Hey, look, school uniform chat was interesting. No, I mean, like, in the game, it's not really anything. I, see, I understand. Sometimes you have to have breaks when nothing's really happened, because, you know, sometimes in this game, nothing happens for quite a long period of time, unfortunately. The pacing of this game is casual. Yeah, we might as well catch that in. Still calling it that he will die of the flu as the ending of this game. Still not saying anything. <laughs> Fuck you, crows. Oh, how did you... It was stood inside me, pretty much. Any more that nearby? What an irritating thing. At least it's not that big room. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that we can just justify everything in this game from now on by saying, yeah, well, at least it's not that really shitty room. <laughs> But oh uh, well. How is the whole, like, walking slowly on this system? It's not bad. Yeah. I'm trying to remember now which system it was really terrible on other than the N64. Because it was really terrible on Are N64. you thinking of the Xbox 360 version of Banjo Tooie? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that was bullshit. Yeah. The Xbox 360 version of Banjo-Tooie is really, really bad about, like, not pressing the control stick all the way. Like, you need to be barely touching it to, fit, to do the slowest walking animation, which you need to do often. In conclusion, fuck the Xbox 360 Banjo-Tooie. Oh, that was the ladder that you couldn't get down, isn't it? Yep. Thanks to that ladder being broken, we had to do all of that. Yeah. This game is a butt. Oh, oh, get a figure, sugar Somewhere, one. there's a memory item hidden in a patch of grass. I see. Don't know why I remember something that specific, but not where it was, but there you go. I'm sure it'll be obvious when we get there. There is a mystery item there. That's way. probably a memory item. Cool. If they're just lying around, especially at the moment, if they're lying around on your path through the dam, they are probably going to be dam story yes. memory items. Frankly, seven coloured bells is more interesting. Yeah, I don't really quite get this new story yet. Their brothers or something who can understand each other or maybe aren't the same per I don't know. No, no. Everything that we've heard is literal. Yeah. There's no stupid twist to it. Oh right, okay. This game just makes me assume that there is always a dumb twist. 
And it's not even like a revelation at the end, it's just like they felt like writing something a little bit different without telling you about it. Which sometimes is neat, but this game does it far too often. It yeah, uses yeah, exactly. the same ones over and over Yeah, again. which is what made me think about this one, like, that they were trying to hide something from me. Fuck you, pros. Oh, yeah, there's a level-up system in this game. Your health bar increases by such a small amount. That is on. That is what? On. Oh, what, as in the way forward? Yes. Okay. What was it, sorry? Glittering stone. Stone. What'd I tell you? Great view, huh? Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. I was saving the best for last. Hey. What's the matter? Hick Nanugu. Weirdo. I'm sorry. Sniff hit. You're making me feel weird too. I don't want this to be the last time. What are you talking about? Mommy told me this is the last time. But I don't want that. I want to come here again with you. What are you babbling about? I get it. So stop crying. Here, have a shiny stone and shut up. Oh, where did you get this stone? It's so pretty. I found it here. Pretty cool, huh? Let's find more here next time. Next time? Honest? Cross my heart, hope to die. <laughs> you keep this one so you know what to look for on our next trip. Okay. And don't talk about this being the last time ever again. Okay. But Mom said... I promised we'd come again. Mom said you're adopted. No men don't break their promises. Right. Thanks. We're gonna go up the ladder, look for stuff up there. Good plan. And when we save before we're gonna go in the thing, you should probably end the video. That's a good plan. We will do exactly what Wally had just said. Of course, for all I know, there's gonna be a cut there, but whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then again, I don't think the bit up this ladder is long enough for it to be a whole video. So there probably isn't gonna be a cut there. I might do one just for shits and giggles. Giggle shits. That's that when sounds disgusting. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens when you laugh so hard you get yourself. Either that or it's like a, a term for someone like, you know, calling them a chuckle fuck. Well, that guy's a giggle shit. <laughs> That's actually quite a catchy one. Yeah. Yep, mystery item. And awesome. then we can go along here. Alright, cool. But... There's nothing at the end, is there? Oh! Whoa! I presume I'm... that was written by one of those two. I wanna eat dope. We came here to see that some... I, th I really, really like the idea that some... Per some like one of the programmers just decided to put that line in there, <laughs> like just because he knew that like what the playtest. What is this big empty bit doing here? Well, not nothing. It it serves no purpose. Okay, I then we won't check it. I wanna eat donuts. Yeah, and like the playtesters never found it, so it was never taken out. I don't see why it would need to be taken out. There's That's no true. reason why it couldn't be written. Though. Well, like. That's the thing. Like, it's okay, not so the like you were never supposed to see this. Yes. Well, we found that mystery item, so let's go look at it. He sat down. He was in the process of sitting down while he nice said that. Surprise. There. 
Cookie tin. Hey, you hungry? I brought us something to eat. What gifts? You're asleep? Well, oh, more cookies for me. me. You're still such a baby. Next time, I'll bring you somewhere even cooler. But it's real dangerous, so... Might get cold feet and quit halfway. Come on. Are you seriously sleeping? Hey... Don't think I'm gonna carry you home. <laughs> the things I do for you. Wake up already. There's no way this will be our last time here. It... It can't be. Don't be like this. Come on. If we're going home... You gotta wake up. And then the kid is dead. Yourself. Yep. Aww. That was something it hasn't shown us before. What, someone actually dying? Yeah. Yep. That is very sad. That should be the end of this video. Yeah, it should. Thanks for watching, guys.